I know you. You're a very discerning gamer with very specific tastes. You never play anything but games about ruthless Japanese gangsters, or samurai, or import car mods, or Star Wars. Whatever your game, we can beat it together right now on Cheat. The show by gamers for gamers, especially the sneaky kind. Any bobo can slog through a game by trial and error. You've got a life to live. That's where I come in. I'm Kristen Holt, and I'm here to help you make the most of your gaming time. We have a great batch of cheats for you today, including racing tips for import tuner challenge and a hidden boss in Yakuza. But first, multiplication has never been more fun than in the LEGO Star Wars universe. LEGO Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, isn't the longest game out there. But if you know what you're doing, you'll have a good 30 hours of challenging gameplay to earn a 100% completion. Once you collect 60 gold bricks, exit the Moss Eisley Cantina and build the large question mark shaped doorway on the wall. This special doorway leads to LEGO City. Collect your 1 million studs by destroying the city, building vehicles, and using your force powers. The city plays very much like the free play mode where you can toggle between characters. Play as a force user. You'll want to work those powers on the destructible environment. Pay special attention to the blue, red, yellow, and green bricks. Use the force on these bricks to build the word Lego. The blue bricks create L, the yellow make E, green is G, and red is O. Throughout this Lego city, you'll be able to build a collection of vehicles, including cars and land speeders. Test drive them all, because you'll uncover a hidden track of blue studs in each one. When your lightsaber just won't cut it, jump into the ATST and take pot shots at the structures. After you've completed the story mode of each episode and collected enough bricks, you can build a seventh doorway in each episode alcove. Within this door is the super story mode, the character challenge, and the mini kit challenge. This mode combines all six chapters of the Star Wars saga, but all this awesomeness doesn't come cheap. To play it, you'll need 100,000 studs. For completing each of these, you'll receive one gold brick. Don't waste any time killing enemies or grabbing studs in the Super Story mode. Just keep moving through the level to beat the one hour time limit. In the character bonus missions, I recommend using Boba Fett and turning on the invincibility power brick. You can buy this in episode four, chapter five, just outside the trash compactor room for a mere 900,000 studs. Keep moving, keep shooting, and keep an eye out for the new purple stud. It's worth 10,000 of the regular kind. The mini kit bonus missions are similar to the character bonus missions, except you're in a vehicle. I recommend using the Y-Wing on the Death Star because of its extra torpedo capacity. When you get to Hoth, grab the speeder. And on Endor, the Slave One is the only way to travel. To get 100% in the game, not only do you have to unlock everything, but you need to purchase everything. An easy way to do this is to collect all 99 gold bricks. There are 27 bricks per episode, 10 available for beating the Bounty Hunter missions, and 8 available for purchase in the shop. If you're missing mini kits from the levels, purchase the mini kit detector from the shop. Find all the mini kits in a level, and you'll unlock a gold brick. Once you've saved up enough studs, purchase the times two multiplier. Collect all 99 gold bricks and build the stud fountain outside the cantina. This fountain will spit out tons of studs, but it might take a while to collect everything you need. By the time you can build the fountain, you should almost be able to buy the times four multiplier. Combine this with your times two multiplier and do the math. You'll get a times eight bonus. Here's a handy trick. Connect the second player controller even if you're playing alone. Station a character on the right and left of the fountain and walk away. Come back 20 minutes later and collect your studs. Keep this up until you can afford the times six, times eight, and times 10 multipliers. Combine them all for a multiplier capacity of 3,840. That means that every blue stud you pick up will be worth 3,840,000. By now, you should be able to afford anything you want in the shop, including those expensive ghost characters. May the force be with you. Oh.
<laughs> I've picked up a few studs in my time too. Oh yeah, I went there, but there's one place I wouldn't go. At least not without some unbeatable cheats in my back pocket. And that's the hostess bar in Yakuza. So we're gonna f this guy up? Despite all the fist fights breaking out on the sidewalks of Tokyo, the real action in Yakuza goes on at the local hostess bars Jewel and Shine. Snagging all six hostesses can be pricey, but at 3,000 experience per lady, it's worth your while, and I have a few tips to get you started. In dating, as in all forms of warfare, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. So our first job is intelligence gathering. You want to go here, to the Information Office Men's Box Entertainment, or the MEB as the regulars call it. Talk to Masutatsu Mizuno here, and he'll give you the lowdown on any of the girls at Jewel and Shine. Write down what he tells you to make sort of a dating cheat sheet for yourself. I know, I know, involving writing in a game sounds absurd, but trust me, you need to know this stuff. Take your now fully prepared self over to Shine, where we're going to start with Yuzu. Wooing the woman folk in Yakuza is not a pastime for the thrifty. Make sure you have about 350,000 yen on hand, but don't worry, there's a method to the madness here. Are you serious? Okay, a few ground rules. The object is to get the girl's heart meter up to 10 hearts without going broke in the process. First off, 300,000 yen champagne is for suckers. Order the orange juice or any other 1,000 yen beverage, and your date's opinion won't be swayed one way or the other. Second, never give them gifts. It's not worth it, and it's really hard to guess what each girl likes best. Disclaimer. Guys, this is advice for a video game and not for real life. If your girlfriend ditches you because you never give her anything, Kristen Holt said I didn't have to is not a valid defense. Is that for real? Finally, all the girls love assorted fruit. Always buy it. Now you'll have to answer a bunch of questions. Refer to the info you got at MEB on Yuzu to help you decide the best answers. Each correct answer will score you half a heart. Wrong answers will lose you half a heart or more, so be careful what you say. Really? Keep going back into Shine and hang out with Yuzu until you max out at 10 hearts. After that, leave Shine and head over to the theater district. You should get several text messages from Yuzu when you reach this area. One of them says she's at a casino. That's your cue to go to the secret casino under the ramen shop. Yuzu's down 200,000 yen, so give her 200,000 yen. In exchange, she gives you the Teshusai, an antique sword that you can then sell at the black market for 750,000 yen. Why did she have a $7,000 sword with her at a casino? Why didn't she just sell it to make back the money she needed? Who knows? It's yours now, and that's what's important. Leave and wait for a text message to meet Yuzu, and she'll take you to the hotel district for a night of M-rated adventure. But really, the screen just turns pink and you get 3,000 experience points. That money from the sword should pay for the remaining five hostess adventures, for a grand total of 18,000 experience points. Thanks for stopping by. The nice thing about that game is that it lets you try on the Yakuza lifestyle without getting tattooed or losing a finger. We'll go under the hood of Import Tuner Challenge when Cheat returns, but first, here's a handy quick cheat for Urban Chaos. In Urban Chaos Riot Response for the PlayStation 2, entering a cheat is not as easy as you think. Enter this code in the main menu to unlock the cheat menu. Keep getting your ass kicked? No worries, we got you covered. Enter Burning Bullet in the cheat menu to unlock one-hit kills. Each bullet will set your enemies on fire. Burn, baby, burn! Brought to you by Scion. Check out the Scion XA, XB, or TC today at your local Scion dealer. Scion, what moves you?
Who am I? SpongeBob, no pants. Wow. SpongeBob fever is spreading. Grab some tasty chicken fries and toys, only at BK. We'd love to show you the world's next great video game. There's only one problem. You haven't created it yet. You've played them, now you can make them with DeVry's new bachelor's degree program in game and simulation programming. It's classrooms and labs where you actually create video games. Games like you'll find when you log on to DeVryPowerUp56.com. You'll learn more about this exciting degree program and get free video game demos from Vivendi Games. It's time to take it to the next level. You can earn a four-year degree in less than three with classes that start right away. And since it's DeVry, you know you'll get this and even more of this. Call 1-866-DEVRY-56 or go to devrypowerup56.com for your free video game demos. But do it now, because when you're a gamer, you know what happens when you stand still. So call or log on for your free video game demos. It's right now, and it's here at DeVry. Attack of the Show. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Oh, yeah! Welcome to the source for all the things you care about. Oh, my God! In the loop. Is it over for Sony before it even begins? They're still the brand leader in this. French Pink. You're like a guy that's trying to get your girlfriend into comics. This is a great book. Around the net. Funny. Satirical. Provocative. I love this show every frickin' day. Attack of the Show. Tonight at 7 and 11 on G4. Welcome back to Cheat. We were just discussing the underground nightlife of a Japanese gangster in Yakuza. But Japan is also home to another dangerous subculture, the street racing scene. Listen up, gearheads. Here's a peek into the crazy world of underground street racing with Import Tuner Challenge for the Xbox 360. Tuners will love this title for its ultra-realistic environments, countless customizable options, and an overall authentic approach to the street racing scene. Import Tuner Challenge takes you deep into the streets of Tokyo, where hundreds of race teams and individuals are waiting to take you on. ITC is made with a true race enthusiast in mind, and it isn't as intuitive as you might think, so I'm here to help you along in your pursuit to burn some rubber. You start off as a new racer on the scene, trying to move up the ranks to be the fastest racer around. And with the disappearance of the king, the entire scene is frantically trying to move up the ladder. So pop in that All Rush mixtape and open a two liter of Orange Shasta, cause it's time to race. Import Tuner Challenge offers a few different racing modes. Free Run, where you can check out the tracks and get some experience. Time Attack, where two racers try to beat the clock, Live Mode, and of course, Versus Mode. These are all pretty self-explanatory, but you might want some help with Quest Mode. As in any racing title, you start off with the choice of a few base cars, and soon, you'll have your whip as customized as you want it. All the cars and parts are actual items on the market today, and if you know your parts, you'll have the fastest car on the block. ITC offers over 5 million combinations when tricking out your ride, so this could kill lots of time in between races. Instead of money, you earn credit points, and the game will start you off with enough to get a halfway decent vehicle before you hit the streets. Obviously, the more you win, the more credit points you'll receive. But first, you have to get to the races. There are a couple of different ways to do this. You can go to the designated parking areas and face any of the challengers just waiting to take you on, or you can get them the old-fashioned way on the streets. In each area of Tokyo, you'll see a map with white triangles that represent the other racers. Simply pull up behind one of them and hit A. This will flash your high beams and let them know you mean business. Now, not every race is the same. Some will be time and distance, and others will be a spirit race. Each racer in ITC has a spirit bar, which is like a health meter for your mojo. If your spirit bar depletes, you lose the race, so don't hang back too far. Steer clear of the walls and other motorists, because hitting them will also result in loss of spirit bar. Here's a tip. Hit X and you'll drift nicely through turns, avoiding the walls. You will find that for the most part, all the races are pretty much the same. Not much changes, except for the view, and of course the performance and look of your vehicle. To move forward in the game, the goal is to simply win races. 
Once you've beaten all your opponents in a given area, you'll unlock new race areas and encounter new rivals. So what are you waiting for? Trick out that whip, keep the pedal to the metal, and win some races! Now you can take your favorite cheat episodes with you wherever you go. Visit g4tv.com slash podcast for clips of this and other G4 shows. We'll visit Feudal Japan and Samurai Warriors 2 after the break. But first, here's a quick cheat for Rockstar's Warriors. The old school movie classic, The Warriors on Xbox, is a fight through burrows of ruthless gangs out for revenge. Alone and outnumbered, you and the remaining warriors must fight your way back to Coney Island. Use this code to unlock the infinite sprint. Now run along and watch the Furies and the Lizzies eat your dust. Getting tired yet? <laughs> for team. I've had 100% reliability. It's been there when I needed it. I've never had a clearer phone. The clearness of the line is, is phenomenal. The voice quality with Vonage, it's, it's been stellar, actually. The call quality is great. Um, nobody asks, hey, are you on VOIP? You know, nobody knows. It's just $24.99 a month for unlimited local and long distance. Call now and get one month free, including free calls to the U.S., Canada, Puerto Rico, and Europe. Call 1-800-866-1279. I had credit problems. Everyone turned me down for a computer. Except help me to buy. They helped me get this amazing computer system with no credit check. Uh, help me to buy. Your past credit problems won't stop you from owning a computer. You only need a home phone and an active checking account to qualify. Call now. Look at all you get. A new high-speed internet-ready computer, a 17-inch color monitor, Microsoft Windows XP, and a huge package of extra software, 12 months of supercharged internet access, an amazing digital camera, and a 3-in-1 printer, copier, scanner. You also get a cool MP3 player and 100 music downloads. Everything you see here. And with Help Me to Buy's exclusive skip pay, you can even skip a payment if things are tight. Now, I'm on the internet every day. Call Help Me to Buy now. Our computer care specialists are standing by to ship your complete system to your home. there same old job that's baby ben i'm fine what happened you never came back to work i went back to school and finished my master's degree online while i was home with ben mommy the vice president i wish i could afford to quit my lousy job and go back to school you don't have to quit that's the beauty of getting a degree online I'll never find the right school. The more research I do, the more confused I get. Oh, the HR director at work suggested you use Education Connection. Education Connection is an amazing free service that does all the work for you. We search hundreds of accredited universities and colleges and thousands of programs so you don't have to. We make finding the right school easy. Dawn, is that you? You never came back to work. Moved up to corporate after I got my degree online. Let Education Connection find the right school for you. It's free. So call 1-800-814-4956 or log on to goedconnect.com. Welcome back to Cheat. We've seen the sights in present-day Japan in Yakuza and Import Tuner Challenge. Now let's set the Wayback Machine and visit the days of the feudal warlords in Samurai Warriors 2. Warriors 2 transports you to feudal Japan, where you serve your warlord unquestioningly and fight your foes with 
Electrified swords? Okay, well, what it lacks in historical accuracy, it makes up for in 3D hack and slash excitement. Jinshio's third level, the Battle of Kusigawa, presents a tough challenge. You need to take down all enemy officers without losing any of your allied officers. Before you start the level, enter the shop and buy a horse. Look for one with a good speed rating. And if you're lucky, you might even find one on sale. The first objective requires you to cross clear over to the southeast corner of the map and prevent the cowardly eastern troops from abandoning their positions. On the way, you'll encounter a couple of minor officers. Take them out now so you won't have to deal with them later on. By the time you catch up with the fleeing troops, you'll have to face two other officers, Sasaki and Tanaka. Keep your battles with the officers apart from the mass of regular troops. This way, you'll avoid getting caught between two regiments. Combo attacks are important here. Press X four times, then Y, and Jinchio will produce a blast of lightning that knocks your opponents into the air. You can also get a few extra licks in while they're airborne. When you run low on health, roll away from the officers and find a group of regular soldiers. Press B to unleash a Muso attack and take out as many guys as you can. A few of them should drop food that you can pick up to heal. Mmm, mmm, yummy rice! <laughs> Once you've taken out Sasaki, jump back on your horse and head down the small path on the back side of the enemy's southern garrison. The door should be opening just before you arrive, and you can take out the officer there before he even makes it out to the battlefield. <laughs> then, head to the east gate where the two Honda officers are entering the battlefield. Focus your efforts on Tadakatsu. He's the one with the larger headgear and silver armor. He'll dash straight for your base in the southwest, so it's important to cut him off and take him down before he gets there. At this point, your officers will be fighting several battles across the map. Focus on defeating the lovely Ina and the other northern officers first, but watch the messages that pop up on the right side of the screen. If any of your officers gets into trouble, you'll need to leave the fray and rescue them. Remember, lose just one officer and you fail the level. The final tough guy you'll need to take down is the ninja, Hattori Hanzo. Does anyone else think he looks like a certain Ninja Turtle villain? His forces should be hanging around the western edge of the map, heading south towards your base. Take him down, then use your map to find any straggling minor officers to finish the level off. Sayonara, baby! Spring glorious victories! And that's how Samurai roll. We'll throw down with Yakuza's hidden boss after the break, but first, here's a quick cheat for Saints Row. In Saints Row for the Xbox 360, it's all about being the top gang in the hood. But being broke sucks, and robbing and killing people is not always the best way to stack your cheddar. Alright, peep this. Pause the game and press the left or right trigger buttons until you reach the phone. Dial this number and you'll be given 10 Gs. Keep calling the number and watch your wallet grow. I'm rich, biatch! Welcome to the source for all the things you care about. I love this show every frickin' day. Attack of the Show, next on G4. So, where do you think this guy should move? I'd say this way. And let's make sure that sound effect we used in the last level fits in here, too. This one? Yeah! You know, I'm so glad I got into game design. It's cool to be able to create the kind of games that we play. I know what you mean. And the training at Collins College takes less time than most people might think. Can you believe we get paid to do this? For a complimentary DVD, call 888-823-0999. Operators are standing by. That's 888-823-0999. Call now. Doritos presents two new flavors. One sticks around, one's going down. Fight! <laughs> Smoking cheddar barbecue's bringing serious crumbs. Oh, yeah! Oh, wow, why Nacho's getting his cheese on? Oh, below the logo! Someone's about to get barbecued! They're fighting for their lives! Two new flavors! One survives, you decide! This is the student who goes to the school that partnered with Dell, who customized a Dell Intelligent Classroom that revolutionized their learning environment so teachers can focus on what's important to them, their students. Because Dell creates technology solutions with one goal in mind, yours, Dell. 
Every day, our lives become more integrated with technology. Ultra-fast computer networks and inventive communication devices are altering the way we interact day to day. As electronics technology becomes more sophisticated, there's a real need for people who can help design, develop, install, and maintain computer systems. The Electronics and Communications Engineering Technology Program in the ITT Technical Institute School of Electronics Technology can help students develop skills to enter this fascinating field. Courses offer an expansive foundation in electronic circuitry and communications engineering technology. Today's technologists are helping to merge the real world with the virtual, pursue a rewarding career in technology, and help shape the future. ITT Technical Institute School of Electronics Technology. Education for the future. Call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. Are you going to get an iPhone this summer? I plan to, but I don't want to spend the money on it. I can go naked and have an iPhone, and that's all I need. I might change my mind because I'm an Apple junkie, uh, but maybe I'll wait till they work the bugs out. But if Steve Jobs wants to call me and give me a $600 iPhone, I'll be all over that. Cheat. The Yakuza is a competitive, cutthroat organization with no job security and a lousy dental plan. So why would anybody join? For the money, of course. Here's how to unlock a hidden Yakuza boss and rake in tons of cash. We don't need no Yakuza. In the rough and tumble world of Yakuza, revenge and retribution are no excuse for not having a hobby. Shut the f up. Kazuma's helping people out, as long as that means beating the crap out of someone in the process. If you complete all 72 side quests in the game, you'll see this guy hanging around near the theater district. Don't let this weirdo's mannerisms fool you. This guy is one of the best fighters you'll meet. Not only does he have three progressively harder forms, but he has a gun. Brag about how good a hand-to-hand -hand fighter you are, and then pull out a gun. Are there no true warriors left in the world? Only dogs without honor? Well, fight fire with fire, I always say. There's a dirty trick you can use to beat this jerk without even breaking a sweat. You'll need to visit the underground arena over in Purgatory, play the Sword Grand Prix event, and win it. Helpful hint, all three of your opponents are pushovers. Use the lock on and stay focused on your opponent. The first two guys will barely put up a fight. The last guy is tougher, despite being armed only with the dagger. Still, if you've completed all the side quests, you should be at a high enough level that he won't pose a problem. When you win the event, you'll get some money and a tiny bit of experience. But the most important part is your prize. One of three items will be awarded to you. Stamina and Spark, Mifune's Kodachi, or a Cursed Sengitsu. You want the Cursed Sengitsu. In fact, you want four of them. I don't believe this Play the same tournament over and over until you've collected your magically bladed quatrain of pain. Toss three in your inventory and equip the fourth. Now it's time to head back to our man in black to settle things once and for all. Here's the trick. Not only is the Cursed Sengitsu a powerful sword, but it stuns enemies when you hit them. Tag him with a few hits and he won't be able to fight back. When your heat meter fills up, pull off the heat attack to maximize your sword's longevity. When your sword breaks, just switch to the next one and keep at it. You should be able to hack your way through all three of the secret boss's forms without him even getting a shot in. Cheap? Sure. But it's not like he was playing fair to begin with. For beating him and proving yourself as the world's greatest fighter, you'll rake in a meager 893 experience and a wallet-busting 10 million yen. Why such a weak experience reward? Well, in Japanese, one way to say 893 is Yakuza, which has made 893 a cultural code word for the shady organization. You couldn't be any more Yakuza if you tried. You've gained both money and wisdom, my students. Now get out there and spend some cash. That's all for now. Thanks for joining me. If you missed any of these codes, visit us on the web at g4tv.com cheat, or you can write to us at cheat at g4tv.com. 
Until next time, I'm Kristen Holt, and you've been cheating. Today on Attack of the Show, we are joined by an